guys, it's Rachel and today I'm back with a flip through of my Micro TN from Foxy Fix. This is what I use as my purse, as my wallet um, and I did do an unboxing of it when I got it and then I did do a quick flip through of it when I originally set it up but a few things have changed um, so I thought it might be fun for us to just flip through it and see what's going on inside it now. I've been using it. I've used this um, for a couple of months now, maybe two months, and originally I had it all set up and I had all my cards in it and then it used to sit on my planner card and I was frightened to death to put it in my purse in case it got dirty. But one day I just realised how ridiculous that was and um, I bought it to use it, I bought it to use it as my purse and I did. I did start um, putting it in my bag. I originally started putting it in my bag in the Foxy Fix bag that you get them in, but I'm being a brave girl now and I just throw it in my bag and so far so good it doesn't seem... Um, to have picked up any dirty marks. I'm really happy with it. And if it does, then so what? It's I bought it to use it and I'm going to use it. I'm not going to spend that amount of money on a purse and not use it. That would be ridiculous. So just a quick overview of what it is. I have got a Foxy Fix um, Micro TN, which is the number zero. Um, it's in the lush leather and it's ballerina slipper. I've got the light pink stitching, the vintage rose elastic, and I have got a holographic... Fox and Pit Bow, you can't see that in, in um, on the camera really, it just looks like silver but it is um, holographic in real life. Um, and then at the bottom I have got a charm from Dottie Moo Shop, this is, um, I think it's called one of the Druzy Moons, it's really pretty, I absolutely love it. So yeah, we'll just get inside I think and see what's going on. Some of the things are still the same, in fact probably a lot of the dividers are still the same, but I still thought it'd be fun to flip through it and see what's going on. So in this pocket I just have my favourite washi card from Josephine Bow Designs. I just like to get it out sometimes and have a look at it. Um, I have two of them. I have one of them in my personal wide as well. Um, then we've got my first dashboard which is just got some happy scrappy paper in it and then just this name decal. I think I got it from Madison Fox Plans but I can't remember. Um, and she's closed at the moment. I think she's gone for maternity leave. Then on the other side we've got some Isabel the Owl paper and we've got a die cut. I can't remember where that's from, I'm really sorry. And then we've got some Isabel the Owl um, acetate as well. And we've got some, sorry that's Madison Fox plans, that's Isabel the Owl. Um, this is from Isabel the Owl the vellum. And then my inserts are just from Annie plans. I did have the um, June to July one, but as soon as 2020 came I ended up switching it out for the... I wanted to have the full year in it, so that's what I did. So, not much going on that's too interesting in here. It is literally just writing. Um, sometimes it's neat, sometimes it's a bit scribbly. <laughs> but, yeah, that's where we're at. So, I'm going to see Lewis Capaldi. I'm so excited. Um, but, yeah, I do have all of the school holidays in here. And sometimes I have a killer night. <laughs> I'm not planning to kill anybody, don't worry. Me and my friend are a little bit obsessed with serial killers. And there's... Um, there's like a serial killer, I don't know if it's a talk or a play or just a serial killer night on um, at one of the working men's clubs near us, so we're going to that, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I have um, in my monthly. Then we've got the backside of the vellum and the acetate. This is from Isabel the Owl and we have got some paper from Happy Scrappy. That was one of my favourite kits, the consolation kits. That's the backside of it and that is a die cut from Plant to Stitch Planning. Then we've got some more of the paper there from Happy Scrappy and we've got a Blossom Nose Co die cut and then we're into my next insert. Um, so we've got a 15 Prill die cut and just some glitter paper that I found on eBay. We've got this gorgeous, uh, I keep wanting to say acetate, vellum from Josephine Bow Designs. I love that. It's so well printed and it's really thick. One of my favourites. So this insert is just a notes insert and it really is just a hodgepodge of all sorts of things that come into my brain. And I just dumped them in there. I <laughs> just dumped them in there. So I can't show you the first page because it's got all my PR codes on it, but my actual personal ones. Um, so I can't show you those. Oh, I can show you those. Those are my codes for shops that I don't PR for, but they gave me a code to give to you guys. So I just keep those there. Then I've got a to buy list of things that I need. <laughs> um, and just some. These inserts, again, are from um, Annie Plans. They're two different inserts and I ended up putting them together. I think that's a collaboration with Happy Dyer. And then these ones are a collaboration with the Coffee Monsters Co. And I ended up printing them out. And then the front cover smudged. So I just thought, whatever, I'll just put them together. 
For some reason though, and I don't understand why, they printed a teeny weeny tiny teeny tidge smaller than the other insert and it does annoy me just a tad. So I'll have to figure that out when I, um, I didn't do anything to the settings, the settings were all as they should be, I literally just pressed print because that is my level of technological ability, <laughs> I can't do anything else um, and so I don't know why that happened but yeah. Next dashboard is some paper from Once More With Love, it's got some bows that have got holographic foil on the inside, you can't really see it though because I've covered it up um, and then that is a Once, nope that's a Coffee Monsters Co die cut and then I've just got a couple of cute samplers and a bow, this was from a pack that I got from Simple Stories I think and then that's happy scrappy paper my pen loop is from underneath the rowan tree i think on etsy it was like two pound if even that and my beautiful pen i did have um a simply gilded pen in here from a sub box but i've been lusting after one of these villa beautiful pens for so so long and my gorgeous best friend bought me one for christmas and i was so excited i never plunged for it because obviously they are an american shop and i knew is that focusing focus for me please there we go and I knew that um I'd get customs on it and I never went for it because I didn't want anything else but she bought me one for Christmas and I love it so so much it's got the most delicate pink and um white crystals in the barrel is it going to focus I don't know how well you can see it but it sparkles so well and I'm absolutely in love with it and it's a really nice pen to write with as well actually it's a 0.5 tip which is one of my favorite sizes so yeah I love that um on this side I've got some paper from Isabel the Owl, some die cuts that I don't remember where I got, and then I've got my favourite, favourite, favourite acetate in the whole wide world. That's the Titania um, acetate from Josephine Bow Designs. I absolutely love that design so much. You already know this. And then this is from Isabel the Owl, and then we've got another insert. It does have the same front cover, I think. I think I printed out the cover twice, and so I just saved it until I needed to use And then on this one, I just have... I mean, it's just a different type of... Um, notes insert really I've got my kids shoe sizes and I was going to write their clothes sizes down and things like that as well but I haven't got around to it yet but I will do um, it comes with two lists or you can have just one big side of lists don't think I've got much else in there I tend to write shopping lists on it and then just whip it out and put it in the bin when I'm done because um, I don't want it to get too bulky but yeah then this is the other side of that vellum and the acetate i've got more of that paper from once more with love and a paper k die cut i love dot the bear he's so cute and then that is just a die cut from planter stitch planning and then i did buy a wallet insert <clears throat> um from foxy fix when i ordered my wallet so um i usually have my bank cards in there i've taken them out for the purpose of the video obviously i don't want you to see my bank cards and um, sometimes i stuff receipts in there or maybe if i get a gift voucher um or like a money off voucher or something like that and then i did have a naya papery wallet insert in here and it had um i've sold it so i can't get out to show you i was just looking but i remembered i sold it um it had like six card slots in it but it was really bulky and i found it really hard to get my um cards out of so i went on to amazon and i just literally searched card holder and i found this um now i don't know how true it is or how useful it is but on the listing it did say that these bits of paper here um like block the contact list so people can't accidentally use your contact list i don't know if that works um i don't have any contact list cards in here anyway i just have some um reward cards and things like that nothing interesting <laughs> nothing interesting at all um and then here is my little pouch where i have change and pound coins and things like that in then i have my gym membership at the back there so i can just grab that quickly because i don't take my wallet to the gym i just throw it in my pocket because i don't want to carry everything and then finally at the back i do have a large pocket which i usually have my notes in if i have any notes in so yeah that is my little micro i did wonder when i bought this was it just um was it just novelty did i just want it because it was cute and would i find it functional but actually i love it and it works really really well for me so yeah that is my uh micro tm from foxy fix if you like this video, if you could give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, I'll love you forever and I'll see you soon. Bye.